Hello, 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 welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. In this episode, I'll be telling you about J-cuts, L-cuts, what they are, and how you can do them. Coming up right after this. Here are the two clips I'm going to use for this demo. The first clip shows a character talking about someone who has left town. You don't understand. She won't be there. She's already gone. And then we want to cut to this clip of her leaving town in a train. Now, if we were doing a standard straight cut here, the edit would probably look something like this. She's already gone. But the cut from the quiet, contemplative scene to the noisy, mechanical clanking of the steam engine is quite sudden and jarring. So I'm going to use what's known as a J-cut to alert the viewers to what's coming before the actual scene changes. To do this, I will be extending the train soundtrack into the previous clip. So the shape of the trimmed clip will be something like this. A bit like the letter J, which is why it's called a J-cut. If we did it the other way round, and extended the first clip soundtrack over the following clip, we'd get more of an L shape, which is why that's called an L cut. The technique is much the same whichever way you extend your soundtracks, but for this particular demo, I'll be using a J cut. So first, I'm going to trim this clip to make it longer again, to give me some time to introduce the train sound. Now the actor moves at this point, so I'll just trim it back to there. And that should give me plenty of time. Now I need to extend the train soundtrack into the first really clip. Gone. Of course, because soundtracks are linked to videos by grouping, this is as close as I can get with the soundtrack without cross-fading the two videos into each other. So we need to unlink or ungroup the videos and soundtracks. And we can do this by clicking on the Ignore Event Grouping button here. In earlier versions of Vegas Pro, the button looks like this, but it's in much the same place. Once clicked, we can manipulate each track individually, like this. And I'll just extend the soundtrack into the previous video. I could, of course, trim back the first clip soundtrack to give me a straight cut between them, but I like the idea of the train noise being gradually introduced, so I'm going to leave it as a crossfade. And here is that J-shape to this cut. However, I like the idea of the crossfade so much that I'm going to extend it a bit more. And I'll just run the edit to see how that fade sounds. She's already gone. And it sounds fine. So that's it. The J-cut is done. So just render to video, and this is what you get. You don't understand. She won't be there. She's already gone. So there you go, J-cuts and L-cuts made easy. Hope it was useful to you. Well, that's all from me. Don't forget to comment, like and share. And if you'd like to be informed of new videos as they come out, then hit that bell icon. And I'll see you here next time on, on The, the Media, Media Channel. Channel.